So far, official information indicates the following. As at midday, today, 27th of February, information gathered was that about over 460 students have left Ukraine en route to Poland, Hungary, Romania, Slovakia, and Czech Republic. The students will be received by officials of our diplomatic missions, honorary consuls, and officials of the Students' Union or associations. We are pleased to provide the breakdown of those who have exited Ukraine as follows. 132 have arrived in Bucharest, Romania, and our officer on the ground is preparing tickets for some of them to leave tomorrow to Accra. Reason why I say some of them is because the distance between the holding area and the city itself is, I'm told, over 500 kilometers. Am I correct? And so some of them are on their way to the city. At the moment, he has with him 24 of them who are at the airport, and he's trying to get them on Qatar Airways to Accra. Some are being processed at the holding area. And I'm told about 60 of them are going through border formalities. So they are on the other side of uh, the Ukraine border, uh, going through border formalities to get into uh, Romania. 38, having crossed into Poland, are with our officials. We are currently also making arrangements for those who are willing to be assisted to get on flights. 25 persons en route to Prague from Slovakia were assisted by the Honorary Consul and will be received on entry by the mission in Prague. 25 just this morning arrived in Hungary and are being sheltered at the Pentecostal Church in Budapest. 85 of our compatriots are being assisted by our embassy in Moscow to cross the border town of Sunni into Russia, which I indicated earlier is creating or I suppose serious difficulties. The crossing is quite a difficult task at the moment. Our officials from the Moscow embassy are doing all they can to get them to cross so that we can also um, assist them on to flight to Accra. These numbers are bound to increase in a few days as we observe the team spirit being displayed by our people, our citizens, our students. They are reaching out to each other, setting up group WhatsApp chats, sharing important phone numbers of consular officers and other personalities who could be of assistance, and also the ca cascading effects of the initiatives. A most gratifying and heartwarming message, such as, we are safe now, I've received several, could not have come at a better time. We hope for better days as the ministry further engages our diplomatic missions and honorary consulate to extend consular assistance to our compatriots. Ghana has also put in place the necessary package to facilitate transportation, accommodation, feeding, medical support, flights, etc., to ease any burden on our people. With all the collaborative efforts, I'm pleased to inform you that a good number, over 220 of our compatriots, have exited Ukraine and should be with us in Ghana soon, and we are earnestly facilitating the safe return of a lot more.